My name is Joey Hardy and I live in Waverly, Iowa. I work at Fairway in the Meat Department and my family situation is that I'm married and we have a three-year-old son. Honestly, I was in some dark places. I've been in and out of group homes, institutions, jail, prison, a lot of drug usage, a lot of alcohol abuse. First cigarette was gotta be like first, second grade. Um, going into someone's car and just smoking a cigarette butt out of from their car, drinking, uh, probably middle school. As far as family goes, um, I didn't have a good family example whatsoever. My mom committed suicide when I was 22 months old. My dad abandoned me in Las Vegas when I was 13 years old, and family was pretty scarce at that point. Because of my home life and abuse and stuff that I was going through, I acted out almost immediately in elementary school. Stealing from cars, smoking cigarettes, um, stealing from stores, stealing bikes from houses that I randomly walked by, so it was early on. That gang lifestyle that I was in was the only family that I had at that time. Um, my dad wasn't around whatsoever, my family wasn't around, but these people looked after me. They made sure I was eating, they made sure I had food, uh, clothes on my back, they made sure I slept at night. As cliche as it sounds, that was my family. My first major crime that I was arrested for was an aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and aggravated assault with intent to cause deadly injury. Um, I had some friends that I felt like I really needed to protect that were being bullied one night and I showed up and kind of handled business the only way I knew how and hurt someone pretty bad. After I had gotten in trouble, um, I didn't have any other options that I felt like I had. I wasn't going to go to college at that time. So I met up with a recruiter and he helped me navigate the criminal charges that I had. And to go into the military, they lowered my charges so I could go into the military. At that time, I was pretty heavy into drug activity, actually. And I had gotten in trouble for uh, transportation of cocaine. and. I had gotten what's called an other than honorable discharge. Let go. Let go of the past. Let go of past hurt. Believe in myself. Believe that I'm not my past. I even think about this last week. Uh, the pain from my dad abandoning me just sometimes comes up and I find myself just not feeling worthy of love or acceptance or anything like that. My mom's suicide, again, is something that I think about quite often, and it affects me almost on a daily basis. It gives me something to turn to when I don't feel like I can turn to the people around me. It gives me a peace of mind that I can talk to somebody without any type of judgment and an understanding that I was put here for a purpose and there's a higher calling for myself. It's got to be my family um, and it's not family that I was born into. It's the family that chose me almost. Uh, my wife, our son and her family that I cannot say how thankful I am for them. I didn't necessarily choose them, but they chose me and that means more than anything to me. Just because people walk out of your life doesn't make you worthless. Just because you've made mistakes does not make you worthless. You are worthy. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of compassion and you are worth this amount of time that you are on this planet. Make the best of it. Love, understand, be empathetic. Do your best. That's all I can really say.